While tempers were flaring during today's House hearing on the Benghazi terrorist attack, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney, he tried to rewrite history during his afternoon press briefing. Now, he actually tried to tell our very own Ed Henry that he never denied the attack was an act of terror. Watch this. If you're citing that on September 12th, the president called it terrorism. He, he used a phrase like act of terror. Act of terror. No of act of terror. Well, then why were you at this podium for several days after that saying we don't know if it's terrorism? If you're not I never saying said that. I never said we don't know if it's terrorism. All right, Mr. Carney, you are a flat out liar, and here is the tape to prove it. Now, you said this on September the 14th. It's, it's actively under investigation, uh, both the Benghazi attack and incidents elsewhere. Um, you know, uh, and my point was that at, uh, we don't have and did not have concrete evidence to suggest that this was uh, not in reaction to uh, the film, uh, but we're obviously investigating the matter. And joining me with reaction, the author of the number one New York Times bestseller, Culture of Corruption, Michelle Malkin, is here. This is serious because people are dead. They asked for security. It was denied. Denied. Absolutely, you know, they have culpability, responsibility. They knew within 24 hours this was a terror attack. They knew this had nothing to do with the film. They knew that this was not spontaneous. But Susan Rice, Jay Carney, Hillary Clinton, and the president himself, weeks later, they're still trying to sell their lie to the American people when they knew otherwise. Where does this go? How, how does this play politically for them? Well, I think what needs to happen, Sean, is that every single American who is concerned about national security, who is concerned about Americans abroad who are working uh, for us to defend us and represent us, needs to watch the full hearing. Go look at it in the archives. Go look at it on foxnews.com. Um, if you weren't able to watch this entire four-hour streaming video, you need to sit down and make time to do it because you cannot vote in November without knowing knowing just how deep, just how malicious, and just how reckless this administration has been with the truth and with the lives of Americans who were murdered on September 11th. Yeah, well, the narrative, and we played this in the last segment, was they, they stuck to their lie, which is this was spontaneous. Now they're saying it's not spontaneous, which we knew at the time. You know, we were told by the, the Libyan president that wasn't true. We were told by everybody it wasn't true. Um, and then the other part of this, it was related to this movie on July, but it had nothing to do with America or the September 11th anniversary. So it's be, it, I think this was all connected to the president not wanting to admit that they screwed up, and I think it's a cover-up. Tell me where of I might be. Of course it is. Yeah. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. And what you've got here is a den of lying liars and crap weasels who are all behind the scenes trying to figure out who to hang out to dry. Um, and you saw a little bit of that m maneuvering in the hearing today. But you also saw, and I think this is completely shameless from these Democrats who wag their fingers at the Republicans who are trying to get to the bottom of the truth here, uh, grandstanding about how this is being politicized at the same time that this current administration is dragging Osama bin Laden's body all over every last swing state. And then we got an admission, and I think this was very key during the hearing, from Charlene Lamb, who is one of these State Department bureaucrats, desk jockeys in Washington, making decisions, refusing uh, from, uh, the, the requ on the ground from people who knew that there should be increased security. We got an admission from her that no, the decision that was ultimately made by her, by Scott Bolcher, by Eric Boswell and all of these State Department career lifers had nothing to do with the budget considerations that you've got every last Democrat blaming Republicans for. Well, it's disgusting. But that's part of the hoax. That's part of the cover up. That's part of the stonewalling. And it's also a pattern of behavior because we saw the very same thing going on during the Fast and Furious issue. Again, the administration, they give guns to drug cartels, murderers, kidnappers, drug dealers, gangsters, and lo and behold, Hold surprise, those guns are used to kill a border agent and others, including children. And they stonewalled, 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 and then in the end, yes. executive privilege. So that's right. We're, we're going to head into this election knowing that this is their pattern of behavior. So the question yes. is how do we expedite getting to the truth here? 
Well, we've already heard what the next steps will be. Daryl Issa, the chairman of the House Go uh, Government Oversight Reform Committee, mentioned that he and, yes, Elijah Cummings are going to request a classified interview with Susan Rice. And I agree with Congressman Trey Gowdy, who said we need to put Susan Rice under oath and re ask these questions that we know, that everybody knows she lied about. I'd like to see that lying liar, Jay Carney, under oath as well. Um, and they need to keep pressing for the truth here and people need to demand it. All right, this is important and these families in this country, we have the right to be told the truth and especially in light of the fact that they had requests for security, they denied them and then they knew what the truth was and they didn't tell us the truth. Thank you, Michelle. And a salute to the, and a salute to the whistleblowers who brought it out in the first Absolutely. place once again. All right, and coming up